Hey everyone, we are backstage here at American Idol, and of course I have the lovely Amber who is killing it in this white pantsuit, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A sexy glass of milk. <laughs> yes, that's what, that's what she called you. Uh, let's talk about the first performance. So the first song, nothing but, but great reviews. How did it feel to get comments like, you know, she looks like a, a, a pro on stage, she's ready to be signed an album. How did it feel getting those comments from the judges? Oh my gosh, it felt so good, because that's what I'm here for, you know, I, wanna, I want this as a career and I want to be a star and so yeah. for them to say that it's like a check mark <laughs> now let's go to the second song they liked it and then Jimmy Ivy you know kind of gave a negative comments but it wasn't really you it was like he just didn't like the song exactly. so what did you take from his comments that you think you can use next week I actually didn't hear his comments until at the end of the show yeah but I mean um you know I don't Oh, I, I, I like that song, so I can't say when I pick my next song if I'm going to be like, oh, this is a cheesy song or whatever. I just stick with my gut and I sing what I like. No, you did really well last week. You were in the top three. Do you think you did enough to make it back in the top three this week? I really, I honestly, not to sound cocky or nothing. No, no, you're not. <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah, I do I do feel like I, I did what it takes. My first song, that was like the best that I've done it. Absolutely. So. That was a good performance. That was a good performance. And you looked the part. And, and are you seeing what, you know, I think what the judges were doing tonight is they're saying all four of you can sing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, you know, anymore about the voice. It's about selling yourself to America. So what do you think elements you have to make sure you're doing so that they see, like, this girl could be putting out albums tomorrow? I mean, everything that I sing and everything that I wear, I try to incorporate a little bit of me in it. Absolutely. And I consider myself really different. So, I mean, like, you know, I just I try to throw myself into everything that I do. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, what's the one thing that's been the toughest for you right now? You're in the top four. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of music to remember. What's the toughest thing for you right now? I think the toughest thing for me is comparing myself with the other contestants because we all are so good. Yeah. You know, in a, in a competition like this, it's hard not to look at somebody else and be like, oh, my God, they're going to do better than me and they're singing better than me. Absolutely. You know, so, I mean, that's my biggest thing. Just, you know, focusing on yourself. Exactly. And I mean, I feel like once it's actually time to perform, everybody else, I'm not thinking about nobody else. I'm just thinking about me and what I'm about to do. Absolutely. Let's have some fun. So you had three uh, lipstick changes. Not only outfit changes, you had lipstick yeah, changes. I did, I did. But I kept this one on from the last one for yeah. friends. <laughs> exactly, to match that. So you had, you instead of wardrobe changes, you are so good, you had lipstick changes. I am, I know. They're like, when I'm putting on my shirt, they're like backstage ba dabbing my lips and wiping <laughs> and stuff. It's really funny. <laughs> now, what uh, what's the one thing that you missed from the past contestants? Like when you guys first started out, there's so many of you guys, and now it probably feels lonely at the house. Like what are you missing? Yeah, I miss just the fullness feel. Like, I mean, if I can't talk to one, then I can always go talk to somebody else. And here it's like only three of us, so it's not, <laughs> it's not as many people to talk to, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's like empty, like crickets in the house. Yeah, it is. And yeah, it's weird. <laughs> now, if they were going to do, what's the one thing they can't do to your hair? If they were like going to come and they were like, we're going to do this, what's the one thing that would make you go, no, stop? They will not cut <laughs> my hair. You were trying to go for the short Tony Braxton? Never. Never. <laughs> my head is too small. <laughs> <laughs> do short hair. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then lastly, um, if you, you know, they were talking really about song choice. It seems like the second group of songs were catered to an older audience. What what are, you know, what's, have they told you what next week is or you're not allowed to say? Huh? They haven't told us uh, yet. What's, what's like a category, not a song, but what's a category you hope that they would pick for you guys? I hope, let me think. I don't want to say dubstep because that's really scary. That would be crazy. You come out with some dubstep. I know, but like some kind of upbeat hip hop kind of thing. Well, I guess that's just me. <laughs> yeah, you know, I would love to see you do some hip hop. What song would you want to choose? Oh, man. Come out with some sneakers. Yeah, some like. Rihanna. Some yeah. Rihanna. Okay. Let's <laughs> come out with that. S-O-N. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be so much fun with some choreography. Yes. All right, we're going to see that. Now, Now, you know, your walkouts of our interviews have become famous, but this is what we want you to do. Instead of walking out, walk out this way. We kind of go past the camera, but when you see the camera, you've got to give it a kiss and a wave. You just got to. You ready? <laughs> All right, you're about to see some diva work right here.